Are you ready for some Haba Haba times? And here is Cappuccino. He was outside and I was certain that he wanted to say hi, so here is his chance. Maybe next time. Wave cappuccino. Pucci, pucci, pucci. Today we have some serious business. In last video we pulled one exec and in this video we will try to work on future execs. Potential execs at least. As you know already from last feeding video, in this enclosure we have an OBT female, Pterinohilus morinus. And she is somewhere behind in these holes. Uh, no, I cannot really spot her. Or maybe... No, but she is there, trust me, you can watch previous feeding video to confirm that. And in this enclosure we have a mature male. You see, there is the guy and apparently he already seen some action. I received this one from Matija from Slovenia. Uh, he was here visiting the dark den with his brother, uh, like a few weeks ago. And they brought me this male. They also gave me this Pezzoteria smithy sling. It is small sling somewhere here. Mm, where it is? It was here just a moment ago. Ah, yeah. It is barely visible in the burrow, so I cannot really show you. It is small sling, but I also received that. I also received the mature Balfouri male but I already added him to the to the communal setup. I don't think that my females are mature and I'm pretty sure that he will die before they mature. So there is no point saving him separately. So I just added him to the communal setup. So those are tarantulas that they gave me. And also depending on how the first sexy time will go, we are also going to try and breed this, this small Ciliocosmos Perezmilesi girl with this mature guy. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if she's mature, but I have four males and I don't think that they have a lot of life in them left because they have been matured for quite a while. So I want to at least try and see how she will react to him. The male is somewhere under the coreback. You know, I have four males, so I just randomly chose this one to attempt this. But it all depends on how this sexy time will grow. I mean, haba haba time, let's keep it civil. I'm going to open the OBT males enclosure, but I can see that he is all already a bit twitchy and bolty so I need to be super cautious with this guy and you see this is actually a fairly large OBT male I don't have my old male for comparison but my male was not twice smaller but also not far from that either my male was super small or this male is super big I'm not certain but I wish you all the luck because this girl uh, it is an OBT so do I really need to say anything else no matter if you are veteran or fresh in this hobby you are well aware of OBT's reputation. OBT stands for orange baboon tarantula but also people in the hobby are saying that it stands for orange bitey thing because these guys and girls they they can be vicious and yeah this is definitely a tarantula species that you don't want to mess with and the action can start with one little stroke good luck to me oh <laughs> hey yeah what is up man are you down for some business i think he wanted to grab it shout out to oh he's moving but shout out to magdalena for sending me this long uh brush long brush it seems that he's kind of on a move but i'm going to touch him once again here <laughs> twitchy twitchy huh how can i get you to move there without freaking out can you go on your own maybe that would be really... it would make my life really easy. What are you doing? Are you maybe expecting food? Maybe I should be a bit more aggressive with this. What? Yeah. Looks like he's searching for a prey item on the, on the ground. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You are on the right track, buddy. Go, go, go. Mm, I think I'm changing the, the tool. Because I actually want to try and push him. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is working. Oh, look, he's already shaking. Nice. You already know what's up, dude, huh? <laughs> he is not wasting any time. Oh, yeah, he's already sending his love signals. Great. Whoa, awesome. And also, you can see the hooks on his front legs, you see? That is the sign that this is a mature male, but not all species got this 
these hooks. So you cannot rely only on exclusively that to recognize a mature male. You also need to be able to recognize the bulbs. In general, look, because mature males, they are a bit more leggy than females. If your tarantula molds and it now looks a bit different, a bit weirder, then it is most likely a mature male. And thanks to my horrible memory, I am not sure if Mattia told me if this guy got, got any name, so we are just going to call him Bob. So good luck, Bob. May the Paul's blessing bring you all the success you need and all the courage and all the strength. Good luck. And where is the girl? Is she even moving? Can I spot her? Yeah, I can actually see her from this angle. But I'm not sure if you can actually spot her. There is she. This orange blob. Yeah, that's the female. But the guy is really starting to be more and more closer. Oh, yes. But now we just wait. I think that I will put camera on a tripod and, and just chill out and watch him do his stuff. Okay, he is now getting really, really close and you see I put this GoPro here to kind of see what is happening inside of her then. But she's not moving like at all, you see, she's just standing there while male is really, really close. I don't really like this. To me it is the worst when there is no reaction from the female, like any reaction, because then you have no idea what she's up to, especially when she doesn't even turn or anything. No reaction, just just standing still. And I'm certain that she's aware that he is there. I mean, he is touching her web and everything. Good luck. It looks like he will just go inside. <laughs> what are you doing with your fangs? Are you showing off your fangs to her? I'm not sure if that's a smart idea. Oh, good luck, man. Good luck. Oh, she is moving. We have movement. Yeah, that is... Yes, 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 I think that she's also drumming. Woo! This will go down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, excellent, she's coming outside. Beautiful. It seems that we will see everything. And check out how their coloration is different. She is more orange while he is more yellow. Oh, this is looking really, really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just let her come outside more. That is really smart and the best thing for us so we can see the female even better. She's actually drumming really hard. I'm going to shut up now. I need to comment this, but it looks like she's just laying on her back expecting for a guy to do something while he doesn't really know what to do. I thought that you were experienced, dude, what is up? Come on, she's she's basically waiting for you, or you think that that is a trap, hmm? Maybe he knows something more that we don't know, or you are just going to piss her off. Come on, do it. Is this she's waiting for you buddy you just need to go in and do your stuff with your petty pops and you know just touch her parts or something <laughs> this is a funny situation <laughs> buddy she definitely wants you you have nothing to lose except your life i guess <laughs> definitely seems like he doesn't know where to go you need to go from this angle not from there sideways. That's not how this works. Uh, dude, you're kind of embarrassing yourself now. Sorry girl, I don't know what is what is his problem. Or maybe he's really smart and just wants her to go more out. Then he would maybe feel more safe or something. I don't know. Let's just trust him, I guess. Again, uh, that is not the right place where you go, buddy. Completely wrong. <laughs> uh, oh. Now it looks like we are yes.
Gina, don't look. Don't look. Dude, are you broken or what? He really got no idea what to do and where to go. She's basically giving to him, look. Completely giving in and he just... Eh, I don't know, I don't really know what to do. Oh my god. Okay, I'm putting this on tripod because I'm not sure how long this will, this will take. Female is still waiting. I think he didn't hit the right spot. Dude, hit the right spot, please. Hmm, was that it? Honestly, I don't really trust him. I don't know. We are just going to wait and see. But that Popuccino over there. Popuccino, you are so cute. You know that? You are cute. Nothing else, bye. Don't want to miss anything here. Oh ho. Attempt number, I'm not really counting. Oh ho, oh ho. I think, yes, no, I don't know. I really don't know. He's still all over the place. But check how she's basically lying on her back. I've never seen this. Honestly, I have never witnessed a female that is so willing to smash while male is so confused and not sure how to how to smash this whole situation is a bit tragic hopefully this will all be over soon because i think that there is no time for this haba haba time this is yeah taking way too long now i'm going to show you something so don't freak out you see there is some action going on over there this guy doesn't really know what he needs to do you would know right what to do. I have cappuccino for more than a year now and I think that Syrian hamsters live between two and three years so he's now basically like 25 years old if he was a human so he should already know stuff like this. I think that finally we have a winner. Finally! Was that it? But you are still here and she's still waiting. Oh, this is so stressful and annoying a bit. But he's constantly doing something with his bulbs. You see? Hey, don't fall. Are you alright, dude? Yeah, they are still going. It seems like that wasn't it after all. He really wants to hang out with me. Or maybe he wants seeds. I'm going to give him seeds. Okay, let's see. Wanna see some quality content? How about a hamster stuffing his cheeks? Oh, but the female is moving away. Hmm. But the guy is still shaking. I don't really know what is up with this. I just know that Popuccino needs some seeds, you see? Seeds and food and... Ooh, the female is... What is up? What is your plan? Are you two done? What? I don't really know what is happening. Are you mad at him for not performing well or what? I really don't know what this means. Guys, I think that I will just call it because this doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You are going outside of the enclosure. Are you aware of that? Go in your hide then. And you see, now you can see really good how she is dragging this leg. That problem started like two years ago and it continues to be a problem through each mold. So. I really cannot solve it. I was thinking about pulling her leg off, forcing her to regenerate it, but that is easier to be said than done. But yeah, I'm going to take the male outside and finish this. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 dude. Dude, just go into the cup there. Whoa, he's not happy. Down, 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 you go down. 
I'm also potentially not happy about your performance. I have no idea if you did something or not, but your performance was not easy to watch. And I think that I'm going to try this out once again. If you ever paired OBTs, write me in the description your experiences and if it was anything like this, because I have never seen a, a sexy time like this one. It is definitely something completely new for me, but I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. There's also a merch page. I should incorporate, incorporate, in, incom, incorporate, incorporate, incorporate. I should incorporate mentioning uh, a web shop and a Darden site in the outro, but I don't really know how to do that. So just go there. There is a link in the description. You can still pre-order a booty calendar. Only two days left. So, yeah, bye-bye.